stuff too. Uh, you might be able to do something with it. Yeah. Maybe. It'd probably be easier if I had a loop on one end already because I, yeah, I don't have those jewels or all of these bad boys. color combinations like that. Oh, okay. Black nickel with the blickle. That'd be a good one. Um, you know, a foliage green. Uh, that'd be this one here. This color combination has been really good. And there we're going with the, the mag 10 and mag 8. A 10 8 combo. I like it. I like that 10-8 combo. I don't know what it is about that, but it just just seems to work. Boy, there's just so many options here that, that <laughs> it's, un, it's unreal. You could do fire tiger, you know. A, if you had a if you had a black uh, body. body like that. So yeah, I took black, black plastic dye and actually yeah. dyed a couple of them black for night fishing, and that's yep. what I got that fish on. Yep. The second fish once black, it got into the dark. Black with the fire tiger blade. Let's uh, do that too. Heck you yeah. Can do a fire tiger blade with an orange blade or a chartreuse blade, you know. Like I said, the combinations are just so uh, like that. Where we don't have a, let's see. Our chartreuse is gone on that side. That'll look good on the new perch colors they're, they're coming out with. Uh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, see, we even have a, yeah. Oh, an actual perch. <laughs> yep, we do. There's a perch blade. Look at that. We got a sucker blade. I mean, like, we can make any combination. The combinations are up, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. Oh, come on. Northern Look at blade. that. Yep. Red horse sucker. This is a good one. This glows, too. That one actually glows. Okay. A little glow on it. And these are just, and then there's a glow Cisco, that color blade. Good grief, I mean, we have all kinds. All, all different color combinations that you could think of and come up with, yep. How about like a glow and a black nickel combo for night fishing in the clear water? Sure could, yep. Yeah, you take, uh, there is a glow blade, yep, here's a 10 glow. And, and this glow, put, is, uh, is that charged by light? Yeah, 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 you can actually, if you hold it like this, you can actually almost look in your hands there and see that it's mm, starting yep. to glow, you know. Absolutely, yeah, let's do a couple of those, because so, we'll be doing quite a bit of night fishing in the next so, couple so weeks. So there'll be a glow with a black nickel, and uh, whatever you think you can, you need. Yeah, let's, let's build those, this. I don't want to take up all your time, so mm -hmm. this that'll probably be sufficient About for now. Three or four of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four more. Okay. Four more combos. Yep. And we're gonna go with the 62 thou wire. So you got this. Do we want to go with <coughs> two eights, or do we want to go with an eight ten with the white? Let's do a little bit of both. So what do we call this? This isn't exactly chartreuse, right? This is flowage green is what they call this. Why they call it flowage green, I don't know, but that's what they call it. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. Yeah, flowage green. Very, quite a, it's a really popular color. Um, I guess they would call this almost British racing green. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a bright, bright green color and, and it works. So. What situations do you like flowage green? Uh, Clear water works good, uh, and it'll work good too in stained water. I mean, um, I suppose if you were in a lake that had, say, like, um, for example, maybe had a lot of frogs in it or something, you know, kind of a swampy uh, shoreline or something like that, I would think this would work pretty good. that we were talking about for night fishing. We're using a number 10 glow blade. 
along with the black nickel for the sound and vibration. Of course, the glow blade's going to throw off a little bit of a kind of a little bit of a light, kind of an eerie light. Um, Have you had much experience with act with the actual glow colors? Yeah, I've used to do a lot of night fishing um, and used uh, various different types of blades. You know, and give them a shot with a, a flashlight, like you know, or a spotlight. That really works great, and they'll they'll last oh ten minutes or so, maybe a little longer before you have to hit them again, you know. And you can see your bait, you know, its advantage is you can see your bait coming through the water. So if you're night fishing and it's really dark out, it works great. So that's another advantage to it. Not only do the fish see it, you can see it too. So Which helps when you want to go into an eight. Yep, figure eight, you can see it. Um, it's at nighttime, you know, it's really hard to see, you know. There may be a big explosion, you better be ready <laughs> because it can get pretty hairy. We've had a couple of those experiences the last few weeks and it's, yeah, it'll wake you up quick. Yep, you can't be sleeping, you know. And uh, like, you know, you know, just all of a sudden they're there, bang, you know, you don't see them coming. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hey, stop the trolling motor, stop the trolling motor. Throw your bait out there, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, throw your bait out there. Like you can during the daytime, you know, sometimes if the lake's fairly clear water, you can, you can see them coming from a ways out. Oh, look, I just missed one. Oh, my God. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Oh, he just missed it. Or, um, yeah, if you're surface bait fishing too, you know, using topwater baits, pretty popular in the summertime. Usually you can see the fish coming, you know, there'll be a big wake behind the bait, or uh, in some cases you'll actually see if their nose and right behind the bait, it looks like a big alligator. Coming, you know, you see them eyes sticking up out of the water. And... Yeah, excited to test this combination. Hopefully tonight. That would work, yeah, it should be good. Is it easy to add the uh, second split ring? Yeah, uh, it's pretty easy for the second hook. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're actually going around the wire on the bait for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gotcha. So you have to have that in there first. You know. Yep. Stained water special. This one will work really great in tannic water like we've got here in Wisconsin, the tamarack trees. Our waters, a lot of it looks like coffee. Uh, it's that brown and it's caused by the tamarack trees along the shorelines and they kind of like weep into the water. And um, we've got a lot of water up here that's tannic brown. So bright colors seem to work pretty good in that um, situation. And this is one of those combinations of colors that uh, would work really well. Yeah, and that's in those water, in that type of water. The chartreuse is here, you know, and um, kind of perchy colors, which most of all our lakes up here in northern Wisconsin have perch in them. It's a forage base, you know. Muskies are eating perch and suckers. And... You know, for us West Coast guys, that fire tiger has always been kind of a loud color because most oh, yeah. of our water is really clear. Yep, yep. So personally speaking, from my experiences, I've had very limited success on actual fire tiger, mm -hmm. but I've actually seen it, like when I was telling you about that Fox River, a guy mm -hmm. uh, trolled one up on a fire tiger shad wrap right in front of us, 53 incher. Ooh, and I was like, yeah. yeah, and he was trolling us a whole set on yeah. planer boards, all fire tiger. Every one of them? Every single one of them. Wow. Well, they all floated out while they were fighting yep. the fish. Yeah. <laughs> 
and in that muddy water i could totally see where it just excels and yep. another gentleman came up and was throwing a, a bucktail and he was fishing black and orange combo mm -hmm. and the pier is kind of dirty muddy water that's muddy water a lot of runoff and that i fished the pier in green bay and So we're building all these co color combinations in anticipation of fishing them in different scenarios. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got to be ready. This will cover most of the spectrum. Yep. So there we have it. I want to show you guys the actual fish that broke my heart not too long ago, and you can see it here. And you actually rigged this bait. Okay. So we're on an offshore bar, top of it's like 12 feet. Mm -hmm. Sank it to the bottom. About 15 cranks in, if I counted correctly. You got cranks 500? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, there's one. I got him. I got him. Get the net. Get the net. Just drop it, just drop it, just drop it, just drop it. It's a good one. Get the freaking net. Oh my goodness. This thing's a beast. Oh my goodness. Okay, you ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Should be a feel. You ripped it. Oh, this is crazy. Can't get the hoop in the water. There you go. Oh no! Okay, I almost got that to the freaking forehead, but holy shit. That was my fitty. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, heartbreaker, but on the bait you, we rigged the last time I was in here. Yeah. So we're going back with reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. Alright, look at that. Look at the whole gamut. This wire, you might as well take that. You want to keep this stuff too? Uh, you might be able to do something with it. Yeah, Maybe. it'd probably be easier if I had a loop on one end already because I, yeah, I don't have those jewel or pliers. The problem, yep, is putting that loop on one yeah, end. Yeah, I was struggling with just yep. regular pliers. And when it gets shorter like this, it gets even harder. Right, yep. get less leverage, right? Yep. So I'll definitely take these. And all of these bad boys. And just to add up all these parts that we used, yep. Would it just be easier to price them like the other pre-made ones? We could do that. I yeah. mean, or I mean, I don't yeah, know, whatever. They're like they're like eight ninety nine a piece, the big ten blader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Well, the smaller ones, let's see, because we used a ten and we used a dumber eight. Probably would be just make them seven ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. If, if there was two big double tens, then. We could, Make it the eight ninety five. Let's go $7.99. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your help and uh, the knowledge that you shared with us from all your experience. Well, thank you. Where yep. can uh, where can the viewers buy the components or pre-made um, rigs? They can get it right here at the Musky Shop. It's uh, muskyshop.com. We have an online catalog. We also have a print version of the catalog, which if you want to call the shop up and give us your name and address and that, we can see that you get one of these. And this has got everything in it, all our baits, all our quick uh, component parts in the back here that we used, you know, the blades and stuff like that. So it's all right here in this book. And this is probably the best catalog we've ever come out with. We've had one for, for many years. And uh, this, the 2019 is by far, so far, the best catalog we've ever had. So it's all available right here at the Musky Shop. MuskyShop.com. Very cool. Yep. Thanks again. Glad to help. Fishing is fun, isn't it? <laughs>